guys rude hello guys and welcome to my video for today's video I wanted to do an eyebrow tutorial for you guys I mean you guys see whenever I don't wear makeup that my eyebrows are actually pretty small this one is actually like doesn't have a tail they're both different shapes so for today I wanted to do a brow tutorial that shows you guys how to sort of fake fuller you know natural looking brows and how to make them even, how I shape them and all of this stuff. Pretty much this is just like how I do my brows because I'm always skipping through this when I do my makeup. So I wanted to show you guys how I get it done and why it takes me so long and what my brows look like before and this is what they look like after. So if you're interested in this brow tutorial, hopefully you are, go ahead and keep watching and we'll get started with the tutorial. Um, as you guys can see, I have my uh, my brows first off are uneven. This one only goes to like here. This one is longer. You know, this one has a different beginning. This one looks different. So these are all of my tips and tricks on how I do my eyebrows. Um, so I am going to do this one for you guys. Let me show you real quick what one of them looks like done. So. This is my natural brow. This one is a lot smaller than this one, so this one is usually the one that is harder to do. So let's see if we can do this. The first step that I usually do is line the bottom part of my eyebrow. So you wanna go really slowly with really thin strokes. So you want to make sure you use the spoolie end and you wanna make sure that you comb your brows. And then what we're gonna do is take our little angled brow definer thing. As you guys can see, I have like sparse areas here. So I start here in the beginning, work my way to the back and I'm pretty much just going up. So then I comb this down and I go above. So I follow like where my natural line is, follow the same shape. And once I have that shape in, I'm going to make sure this hair is combed down and see how my hair sort of like the it sort of grows down like this that's how i do my strokes so i follow the way that my hair grows just to make sure it looks more natural and then once i'm done with that i just comb this back up and I do the same thing on the bottom, except for here, I, co I do this going up. So I haven't touched the beginning yet, um, but now we have the basic shape here. Now what we need to work on is the arch and the tail. So this part is the hardest if you're like me and you don't have, you know, hair going down this way, it's harder to see where your arch is gonna go and where your tail is gonna go and make sure it matches if your eyebrows don't match. So what I do here is I follow the top part of my eyebrow. So see how it kind of has this little curve and stuff? So I follow where that goes. So I have my arch there, similar shape to my other one. So because this one doesn't have that much of a tail, if I do make mistakes, 
I don't see it as that big of a deal. So, you know, my eyebrow might end up looking kind of crazy, but I end up fixing it with concealer. So don't think that if I make a mistake, that's how it's gonna end up. So now I have the basic shape for the tail. The hardest part that I find is making sure the tail is like the same length as this. So I am gonna start maybe here and using small strokes, I'm gonna connect with that bottom line. And then I'm going to fill that in. So this one is a little bit too long and it's a little bit kind of crazy. And so I have to fix it with concealer. But while I'm shaping it, I just make sure I go in and really darken it up so that it looks like it's my natural hair. And I also have to make sure it matches the shape of the other one. All right, so now that I'm done with the basic shape of this brow, what I'm gonna do is gonna go in with concealer and just clean that up. So I'm gonna take my Instant Age Rewind Concealer in Medium. I'm gonna take some on this flat tipped brush. It's not really a concealer brush, but I use it as a concealer brush. And I'm going to shape my brow further. All right, so now I have my arch going. Now I'm gonna shape the top of the brow as well and make sure that the tail is nice and sharp but is also the same length as this one. So now I'm gonna make sure I blend all of that concealer out. And typically I do my eyebrows first before I do foundation and even before I do my eye makeup. So I usually take concealer onto my eyes and that's sort of my eyeshadow base. So I just wanna make sure that this concealer, I am blending it into my foundation. And then once I have that concealer in, I can see what areas I need to work on. Um, if I need to go back in and then I never went in into the front area so I try to avoid the front area as much as possible but I do take my little wand pointing up like this and I just do the smallest bit just here in the front and then I usually end up wiping it away with my finger just to make it look more natural I think the worst thing you can do with your eyebrows is have like a square shape here in the front. So you wanna make sure that you are using the spoolie end to comb the front out and make sure it looks natural. All right, and one of the last steps is to set the concealer that we put under the eyes. So I'm gonna take my Tartlet palette and I'm just gonna use a white shade. You can use any white shade that you have but I'm gonna concentrate this underneath the arch especially. And this is typically how I highlight my eyes. And then I do set whatever I have on the lid as well. This is a step I would probably do before I do concealer and all that. 
but you want to go in with some brow gel and just make sure that your brows stay in place. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. brow gel, which is only a dollar. And I'm just going to comb my hair up. Alright guys, so I put on some eyeliner and some lipstick, but that is the end of my eyebrow routine. As you guys can see, they are both done. They're fuller, thicker, and you probably can't really tell that they're not my natural brow, not even close. Like this one didn't even have a tail. So I hope you guys enjoyed this eyebrow routine. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.